Hello, welcome to introducing the Lenovo Store Select DX8200N webinar. This is Michelle Gottschalk Brunk. I am a senior manager in the Lenovo product management group of Lenovo Storage Business Unit. And I am also happy to have with me today Eric Cho from Nixenta. Hi, Eric. Hey, Michelle. Uh, my name is Eric Cho. I'm the Director of Sales Engineering at Nixenta. I help manage uh, the pre-sales uh, pre -pre projects for our customers uh, to help get the right sizing and also educate customers on our products. Great. Thanks for being here. So today we're here to talk about Store Select, which is Lenovo's brand new software-defined storage portfolio. We've just introduced two awesome new products, one of which is the Lenovo Storage DX8200N, which is powered by Nixenta. They're an Accenta Store uh, unified block and file product. And so the reason that we're jumping into software-defined storage today is because we and many industry analysts and many others in the industry see a major shift occurring in the storage market over the next few years. So what we see here is the traditional enterprise storage market is going to decline in terms of market share over the next few years. And you're going to see a growth both in the hyperscale approach to deploying storage, but also and especially in the enterprise software-defined storage approach um, to storage. So what we're doing is jumping in the software-defined storage market today so that as customers, as all of you uh, become more familiar with software-defined storage and begin to adopt it for your data center, Lenovo's goal is to become the number one hardware vendor for software-defined storage as this market grows. It doesn't mean that we're getting out of traditional enterprise storage. Uh, don't want to worry anybody out there. We will be taking new approaches there, too, with disrupted mid-range products and all flash. We really think that's where the data center is headed. But that's for a different webinar. Today we're going to focus on SDS because we have just announced the DX8200N as well as another product, the DX8200C. So we're excited to tell you all about that today. So what Lenovo is doing, our approach to the software-defined storage market, is to take the best of what Lenovo offers, um, which is high-performing, reliable x86 server hardware, economies of scale as one of the largest server vendors in the world, the largest PC vendor in the world, um, to really reduce the cost per gig for large-scale storage deployments. Um, and we're going to partner with the best of the best in the uh, software-defined ISV community <clears throat> to really help drive a, a revolution in storage economics. So we want you to be able to deploy larger arrays of storage for a lower cost. We are offering factory integrated appliances. Uh, so we've done the configuring to make sure it's optimized for the Nixenta store software. We are pre-testing these, um, putting the software on the hardware in the factory, taking out a lot of the guesswork and legwork for you. Um, we are very carefully choosing our software-defined storage partners. Um, we have chosen Nixenta because of their proven capability in the unified block and file space. Um, and you know, they are already the number one open SDS vendor out there. So we are very happy to be um, joining with Nixenta to bring this product to market. And then, you know, we really want you to be confident in the solution. So we are offering single point of contact service and support. So if the customer or if you are not quite sure, am I having a hardware problem or a software problem? Who do I call? You just call Lenovo and, um, and we will take care of you. So hopefully that's a time saver and a confidence builder for you uh, there. So the DX8200N is a unified block and file appliance. And you know, in addition to Nixenta being a great proven software partner, this also fills a gap in the Lenovo portfolio. We haven't had a unified offering in the portfolio until now. Um, so this product is ideal for storage, um, for NAS type storage, file storage, and for your um, traditional SAN workloads in large capacity uh, environments. So this will scale from you know, a minimum of tens or hundreds of terabytes. Eventually, 
up to multiple petabytes. So today we offer support up to 960 terabytes. And by the end of this calendar year, we will offer support up to five petabytes. So um, you can see here, uh, this is probably a familiar image to you if you're familiar with the Lenovo X86 hardware. Um, these products act as the storage controller or a head node, and then all of the storage just resides in the Lenovo D series storage expansions or JBODs. Um, so it's, it's a great combination of some extensive software and the Lenovo Enterprise hardware. And again, it is pre-installed at the factory, making it so much easier to deploy. Um, and so again, we just really hope that this approach will help you reduce the cost of your storage. We know that data is growing at uh, tremendous, uh, tremendous pace. You know, it's exploding, really, but IT budgets are really flat, not growing. So you have more data to store, but you don't have more budget to spend on it. So we're really trying to take this new approach um, and really try to fix that challenge for you. And we hope that the, the factory installed and single point of contact service and support really in increases your confidence in software-defined storage. So now I'll turn it over to Eric, who will give you um, a lot more detail on the Nixenta Store software and ways to deploy this product. Cool. Thanks, Michelle. Um, so as Michelle said, our, our uh, solution really is servers and JBODs. Um, Nixenta is a software-only company, so we don't sell any sort of hardware whatsoever to customers. Um, our boxes are riding on top of manufacturing hardware, so companies like Lenovo, and the fact that uh, we can do that really gives customers a lot of control over the entire cost process. But the other reason why we're software only is that it allows us to, to enable feature sets and that typically you would only get through, uh, through specialized appliances. So, um, you know, we feel that in the industry today, there really is no single feature set that, uh, that a company or a product might have that can really differentiate it or really makes it a must have. Um, so much of the features that have existed in the past have now um, migrated or, or been adopted by the other platforms as well. So we feel that there is complete parity. In that sense, um, so on the right right side of the of this slide, you can see the two servers uh, on the top that have the Nixenta Store labeling with the orange, and then below them are JBots. So in this instance, this would be uh, two of the Lenovo two of the Lenovo servers and JBots um, cabled underneath. And that would provide a complete SAN and NAS solution. Um, as you can see from the slide, this is a whole bunch of uh, features that we have. Uh, we we support both block and file. Uh, as well as have massive scalability, all the, all the way up to potentially five petabytes, like Michelle said, by the end of the year on the Lenovo platform. Um, our our software itself is is not there. There there aren't a, a ton of limits on our software itself. Um, so we have a theoretical unlimited file system size. Um, the limitations that we actually deal with are actually from the physical uh, hardware. So the motherboards and the systems and the PCI slots that we have access to really limit us in terms of how far we can go. But as our hardware catches up to our capability, um, then, uh, then obviously systems will grow larger. Um, and as I mentioned before, things like snapshotting, clones, inline data reduction, uh, single, double, triple parity, um, replication, these are all feature sets that are included in the cost of the core product of Nixenta. Um, and in terms of uh, target use cases, we'll get to that in the next slide, but uh, we can quickly see that uh, this kind of solution can be uh, geared for a very a whole bunch of different use cases, from cloud backend to a generic file share. Um, but specifically, as we look on look here, we can see three main configurations that you can set up with Nixenta, and these three can serve a whole bunch of different uh, type of workloads. So starting on the on the right side, we see an all hard drive configuration. Uh, this would be leveraging, you know, six, eight, ten terabyte uh, spinning drives, pulling those together, and then providing out, you know, either an NFS share or having a bot, uh, or, or a iSCSI uh, block block connection or a fiber child connection, or even SMB. Um, so this is something that maybe you can use for a cheap and deep solution, uh, for such as a backup target or a, or archive solution or cold data, uh, and then also potentially for, uh, you know, some application that doesn't require any sort of uh, a, a fast NFS connectivity. Now, as we work our way to the left, we see a hybrid co configuration as well. Uh, and this is taking hard drives. So hard drives would make up potentially 90% of a pool and then augmenting that with SSDs. These SSDs would act as, as a cache 
whether it's read or write cache. And then this would accelerate the system by several magnitudes. Now, this is where we start moving into the enterprise file ser servers as well as uh, VDI um, or even VMware type of use cases. Um, so, uh, so yeah, y y having that kind of performance enhancement just by simply adding SSDs really provides a ton of flexibility for, for our customers. And then moving all the way to the left, we see all flash. And here we have the ability to use you know, general grade multi-use SSDs um, and then serving out a single pool for things like SAP or Oracle databases or SQL or LTP, uh, data warehousing, things like that. Now, from this slide itself, we can see that there are three different configurations, potentially four or five different use cases, and a single product. So Nixenta allows customers to have um, choice in terms of how they want the system to be cut up, how, this, how the system is configured for performance based on that profile. But the platform is the same, irrespective of where, where you're connecting to. In traditional storage, you're potentially talking about a single appliance for each workload. Uh, we feel like that's not sustainable at all, especially with um, the software nature that uh, of the industry, um, providing customers with that choice and with uh, the ability to use uh, you know, great hardware uh, really provides a great solution. And we also have a product called Nixenta Fusion, which allows uh, X number of Nixenta stores to connect into the Fusion. And the Fusion then is a single point of glass uh, management management piece for your entire Nexenta infrastructure. Um, so this is great for customers that have maybe a Nexenta box that's dedicated for backup, another Nexenta box that's dedicated for VMware, and then a third Nexenta box that's all SSD for, uh, for Oracle databases. All three would be managed under a single system. Now here is a uh, three examples of configurations that we can theoretically sell with Lenovo. Uh, with Lenovo, we actually have a very tight relationship, tighter than most other manufacturers in that, uh, like Michelle mentioned, they handle our support for first level, first and second level. Anything after that, uh, they go back into our Nixenta, Nixenta support team. Um, they also do integration at the factory. So there's no installation of the system for, for that, that our customers have to deal with. So all those kind of things are, are, are being taken care of by Lenovo providing a Lenovo uh, product that is just powered by Nixenta. Um, so you can see the, the all disk, the hybrid, and the all flash, these uh, match up basically to what, to the previous slide in terms of use cases, and you can see the, uh, the their corresponding capacities. Um, but with this kind of flexibility, our customers love that uh, just based on the JBOD config, they can now customize their performance, and by doing that, they can have complete control over the system. So, Michelle, you want to talk a little bit more about Lenovo servers and, and their domination? Yes, we'd love to. Thanks, Eric. So now you've seen why we chose Nixenta and what a great product Nixenta Store is. Um, and we are very happy to be, again, partnering and, and bringing this product to market. And so Nixenta is a winning company, and it's a, and it's a really great um, software product. And you know the Lenovo server products are equally as great. Um, over the last seven or eight quarters, Lenovo has, I think it's seven out of the eight last quarters, Lenovo has been ranked by TBR number one in customer satisfaction overall. So they, they survey 22 elements that cover everything from service to the product itself to the sales experience, and Lenovo consistently ranks number one um, in terms of customer satisfaction. So you know that when you are selecting a DS8200N, on Lenovo hardware with Nixenta software that you are getting the best possible product experience and support um, that you can possibly get in, in this industry. So it's a great choice for your first software defined storage deployment. So I hope that you have found this information um, helpful and I hope that you um, are interested in the DS8200N. And if you are, you can click the link that you see here on this page to find out more information and find out um, how to get in touch with your Lenovo sales team or your Nixenta sales team or your business partner if you're interested in uh, having some questions answered, if you're looking for a quote, or if you are interested in seeing a demonstration or a proof of concept. So thank you for joining. And Eric, thanks for being with with me here today. Thank you. All right, and uh, everyone, we look forward to um, to bringing this product to market, and we um, we hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.